Hey, Johnny Mosley here for Peter Glenn Skiing Sports, hanging out at the Winter Sports Market in Salt Lake City, Utah. This is where all the brands come and kind of show off what they've been working on. Let's go. Hey, Johnny Mosley here at Winter Sports Market in Salt Lake City uh, with Christian from Blizzard Tech, Technica Blizzard. And uh, basically what we're doing is we're walking around, we're checking out all the new equipment, new skis, see what's changed, see what's hot, see what's interesting, see what they're excited about, and just trying to get like a little touch and feel on it so that when you're shopping around, you can get, and get a third dimension. Because you're looking at, you're reading about it, you've heard about it, but you can hear it straight from the source here. Like Christian is an expert in all these skis um, inside the company. And uh, first of all, let's start with this Blizzard uh, Anomaly series. Um, Obviously, it's a derivative of the very popular, like, Bonafide, or was this the Cochise or the Cochise something? The was the widest one, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Just this ski, I remember just people loved it. You guys pretty much almost, like, started this category of, um, I don't know, what, what what would you call that era, like, that category you guys kind of started? It vaguely all mountain, but it was like, you know, there was a 118 when we first started, okay. double TI, that, like, I don't think anyone would consider that an all mountain ski yeah. anymore over yeah. a decade ago. Just, like, like couple sheets of metal. A couple sheets of metal. It was like, you know, it's like almost like a like a X downhill skier yeah. delight. <laughs> Very right. Austrian perspective on yeah. all mountain skiing. <laughs> sure, sure. Like the guys who were, I raced, had really good skills and racing skills would jump on that ski and be like, this is it. Totally. Like, you could stand on that thing and just go freaking fast mm -hmm. and straight and air and come out of fast airs and just feel like you were on full, you, you didn't even have to like, Totally. feather to try to get over something. You just point that thing right at the whatever chunk bump and you're just, you're fine. Yep. You're going to truck right through it. So tons of those at Tahoe. I mean, yep. they're everywhere. Yep. Um, and then I started to kind of see like, you know, you guys did the, the Rustler series mm -hmm. and you started to make a little more like lighter, playful series. Yep. And so you started to see less of the sort of Cochise and Bonafides out there. Yep. But now we're back with the Anomaly at, tell me a little bit what what we're doing here. Yeah, what's interesting is obviously, you know, like you said, Bonafide, Brahma, Cochise, iconic names for us for over a decade. Right. Launched us into the space, into the U.S. market, really, after yeah. the brand had been, right. you know, non-participating for, for a while there. <laughs> I like that, yeah. Yeah, we had, a, you know, we had a certain perspective on it, which was that sort of, like, Austrian downhiller, but it's yeah. wide kind yeah. of attitude. Yeah, you can't, remember, you can't forget that Blizzard is actually this really old Austrian company. Yep. That Franz Klammer mm -hmm. won the freaking Olympics. Kitzbühel, on. yeah. <laughs> Kitzbühel yeah. won Kitzbühel on. Yep. So, yeah. So, yeah, definitely like a persona within that space, you know, a different attitude, kind of, you know, this was 2011 when we were really kind of making a splash in the market there. Yeah. Since then, you know, a decade plus later, that category has obviously evolved a whole bunch. Skier expectations have changed. Not so many 118 double TI skis out there. Everybody so. else ripped you off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, the category's <laughs> gotten more competitive, a little sure. safer. Sure. At the same time, obviously, like you mentioned, we've also introduced skis like Rustler that have yeah. a different flavor to them, a little more soft oriented, a little more playful, a little easier to use. So what we've watched is sort of that reputation we had with the bull line of skis really evolve and kind of get stuck in, in, in a certain place. And so what we wanted to do with the new anomaly skis here was really reset that, move in a new direction, take sort of that moonshot that we did a decade ago with yeah. a different name, different attitude, different philosophy to the skis. Yeah. So while I think you'll still hopefully feel some of the same through lines of like Blizzard still making some pretty performance oriented skis, yeah. really want to do something different here. So okay. complete change up with the kind of the waist width layouts, the constructions and, and the philosophy to the category for sure. Okay, so yeah, I guess for starting with the top, waist width layout, yep. meaning that uh, I guess if this was, this is now a 90... What you got in your hand is the 88. 88, yep. okay. Narrowest okay. one is an 84, oh, okay. then you step up to that 88, okay. then you go 94, and then the widest one is a 102. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, yep. whereas you guys almost started at 92 before. Oh yeah, before, and then went, went up from the there. Up. Okay, yep. okay, so the whole thing kind of exactly. went to it. Exactly, and which part is... of that works really well with the Rustler collection. Perfect, So yeah. the narrowest Rustler is 96, yeah. you can go from that, what's now an anomaly 94, up to 96, and kind of get into that free ride space before, where exactly you're talking about, the wider ones in the all mountains. Really yeah, because I mean, I think even the most like rugged, hardcore uh, expert pro would agree that when you get like a double metal laminate 
you know, 112 underfoot, that's 193. You better be on it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's, it's a commitment. Yeah, exactly. So, okay, and then I did notice, um, I mean, obviously you guys created the flip core, and then, uh, but I did notice the ski has a little more camber than usual. Yeah, what we were trying to do is, so those three lines, right, like what yeah. I was talking about. We still wanted to have really high performance, strong skis for sure, but we wanted to open up where they could be used on the mountain, make them a little bit more versatile, both getting off trail, but also, you know, when it's not a powder day and the conditions aren't as forgiving. So sure. what we did was add a little bit more rocker, okay. uh, both to the tip and tail, okay. both in height as well as depth. Okay. So they get off snow, off trail a little bit better, play uh -huh. in that softer snow a little bit easier. When more you forgiving. say height as well as depth, you yeah, mean like Yeah, you put the, the two of them together. Okay, okay, so yeah, you got to like, see that. There, yeah, yeah. Measurement from one to another. Right. There's your height. Okay. And then the depth is how Oh, how depth. deep into the ski it goes. Exactly. Okay. So the, the where it raises, where it rises. Exactly. So more okay. versatility, sure. and capability where they can go. But okay. at the same time for that person that is on trail, rolling yeah. up, wants to feel that energy from one turn to another. Sure. Get some more camber on Yeah, the yeah, because the previous series was flatter, pretty, if pretty, you will. Yeah, pretty a little much, bit less. It was like close four mils yeah. of camber in there. Now we're up to six or seven in some of these skis. Yeah. Okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I cambers I, I like camber. You know, camera's important. Camera yeah. gets, that's kind of what gets you pop. Yep. Camera, you know, when you hit that turn, it comes out, you know. Exactly. Um, from side to side. Okay, cool. I love the graphic. Go ahead, Thank Dave. You. Yeah. Forget the graphic. <laughs> where, but where are Graphic's we? important, too. I mean, yeah. with a ski like Anomaly, we want to be able to tell that story kind of visually as well. There's sure. a lot of, you know, in the last decade, skis have gotten a little safer in this in this space. I'm yeah. sure there's a lot of them being sold. Yeah. So we wanted to look a little different here and kind of nod to who we think that Anomaly skier is, which okay. in general is probably that skier making four turns where everyone else is making 40. That's it. Yeah. So so we have all the kind of like every man wiggles there. Oh, that's the snow funny. Farm, oh, that's field. cool. I love that. And then that. you've got, you know, the turns over top. Oh, and the, oh, oh, oh. I'm glad I brought exactly, it up. I yeah. did not notice it. Okay, so you got the, the, the short swing turns yep, exactly. right here. And then you got the. Someone uh, just downhill. wrecking the whole power. Oh, field. I yep. love that. Very cool. Totally. Very cool. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> yeah, as you said, you retired the bulls. Exactly. Put them to bed. The, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess I never even realized those were bulls. The co <laughs> coaches, the Brahma, the Brahma. Yeah, they were. Oh. Unwritten bulls from the Professional Bull Riding Association. Oh, is that yeah, right? All those names. Dang, I had no idea. It yep. took me this long to ask the question. Um, all right, good to hear. Last but not least, okay. it's new with these skis, yeah, is the metal up. layup. So they're still okay. double TI skis, okay. uh, but done in a different way to make them a little bit more playful, a little more forgiving. So utilizing Fluxform, which was a technology we launched last year. Oh, yeah. Tell Muscle me a little Shiba. bit about that Fluxform. Yeah, the goal is you've got these Tetanol stripes that run full tip to tail, yeah. <clears throat> hopefully give you the benefit of metal, which is dampness, stability, confidence, but done in a different way where those stripes aren't connected to one another. Okay. So you've got one, two on the top, one in the middle, so okay. a full quantity of metal as far as a sheet goes. Yeah. Uh, but because they're not connected, it's torsionally soft in and out of the turns. So Interesting. So playful, easy, but still really damp and confident. Damn, I'm excited. I want to try them. <laughs> uh, you got me. Let's do it. All right, the Sweet. anomaly from Blizzard. Thank you, Christian. Johnny Mosley here for Peter Glenn Ski and Sports. Get the gear before you go. Have a great winter.